Liam, 10 goals is, a, is an achievement against anybody, but uh, was, it, was the game a useful exercise for you overall? Yeah, I think, like I say, sometimes um, you come to games like this and people expect 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 yeah. changes. Yeah. Uh, we said to the lads before it, we want to take it into Saturday, we want yeah. to keep the confidence high. Yeah. Playing against a good team there, the fourth in the league. Yeah. Um, They've been on a good run. They've got some good players. Um, we said to the lads before the, before the game, be clinical, be ruthless, um, and go out and enjoy it. And we said someone will be on the end of a good hiding. Um, <laughs> you've seen the create chances we've created probably since Harrogate, um, yeah. since me and Foz. And like I say, we've probably created more and more chances every yeah. game. Tonight we fell on the end of them. Hopefully we've not used them all up. Um, but yeah, fantastic. The lads, the way they carried themselves. Even to the last whistle, trying to do the right things. It can be so easy when you go in at half time with a score line like that to take your foot off it. Um, I didn't even have to say anything. The lad said straight away, we're going to keep going, we're going to yeah. keep battling. Um, and it proved and we looked solid. Yeah. Uh, their goals come from our error. Yeah. Um, and they're things that we can work on, and we have worked on a few things tonight. Um, give lads a couple of minutes. Kyle, obviously, he's had to come off, but he did fantastic while he was on the pitch. Miguel, getting night under his belt, he's not had it for a while. So, yeah overall a successful night and it, it was a feature that, that we managed to keep that intensity which as you say is not easy I mean I heard you early, early in the second half shouting standards lads <laughs> yeah especially as, like I say a club like us um, pride on ourselves on the fitness and the quality um, we know where we need to be in the league we know where we want to go in the FA Trophy we know where we want to win a cup I said to the lads before the game no matter what, come the end of the season, we want to win cups like this when you can get good crowds, a good final, or they celebrate winning together, and it just keeps that momentum going. If you start taking 11 lads out and putting 11 lads in, it stops the momentum. Um, we've built on it from Morpeth, where we're unlucky to come away with three points. A bit of a killer that we've had no games Saturday, but then, like I say, coming to Tuesday, we've got eight big games this month. Um, the lads know that. So whatever happens over the space of October, it, um, it can defy your season. Um, we know where we need to be and we know where we want to be by the end of that month so again we just take it game by game and tonight proved that there was no sort of worrying about what's going on Saturday it was right let's be let's be Ilkley and let's get through to the next round in, in terms of the mechanics of this trophy um, are we in round two now or not entirely sure like I say, it's the first time I've been involved in it um, but again similar to other cups that I've been at with other clubs you want silverware you want the trophies um, it's winning mentality um, lads want to turn up to play football we get paid to play football um, it's a privilege but more first things first we want to win games of football um, so these lads in there who have been rested um, spoke to them all and they're all sound they know why we've done it lads have played a lot of minutes over the season so far so again it was a good opportunity to give other lads minutes get minutes into the belts and uh, yeah like I say I can't, I can't really fault the efforts tonight the big question is what have you done with Prince X Polo? He scores a goal and he hits two, know, someone told uh, me and it two passes with the his right foot. Oh, I've seen him do an over, uh, a step over Cruyff. Yeah, yeah. But Prince, I've said to him since I've known him when I was last time here, I knew he was a very good player. Yeah. And since he's been in, um, I've said to him he's, he's a lot more capable on the ball than he thinks. Um, it's just having that confidence and having yeah. that communication and someone just putting the arm around him and telling him that he's that yeah. sort of player. And I think tonight showed that he does the very the hard stuff very well. He nicks the ball, he presses well, and when he's clicking, we all click. And I think, like you say, the press worked really well tonight, um, which is probably where three, four, five goals have come from. But yeah, I've heard it was his first goal in sort of five years. Someone said so. Again, it's just nice for lads like him. Probably gives him another bit more confidence. So he has um, scored before then. I think he has. I'm not entirely sure. Even in training. I, yeah, train. <laughs> believe it or not, he has done in training. Right. But again, it's for him to go into there and. Uh, Obviously, tonight is probably giving the world of confidence going yeah. into the weekend and for this month. Yeah. It's scoring a goal is no better feeling. So, um, yeah, really pleased with how he did. And again, it's about obviously moving forward now onto Saturday and focusing on Saturday. Yeah. We weren't quite sure about uh, Tom Pratt's availability. It, 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 was tonight not counted as? No, so yeah, tonight didn't count, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably not ideal because we want him for Saturday. Yeah. Um, but again, like say, known Pratt for a while, he's one of my closest mates. Mm. Um, that is Pratt in a nutshell, mm. running off people, mm. scoring, creating chances. He probably could add even yeah. more penalty at the end to top it off, um, but we don't get given it. But again, that's Pratt in, like say, he's come back. Obviously, his fitness is there, yeah, his quality is there, and you know what you get in the practice. So, again, fantastic. It's just a shame, obviously, he won't be there Saturday when he's got one game left. So, yeah. So it's it's games games were on on Saturday, and uh, last I heard they were winning five three tonight. So yeah, yeah it was three one at half time. Yeah. So again, this league, like I've said all along, it's ruthless. You can beat top of the league four yeah. nil. You can get beat by bottom of the league four nil in the space of two days, three days, four days. So um, we'll probably have a look at how they've played. Um, look at what they've done what's different from obviously the last time we played them 
Um, and obviously we're going to Saturday full of confidence and obviously it's a cup run we know how good it can be for the, lo- mm. the club and the fans um, and the draw so again it's more about us and worry about what we need to do ready for Saturday and obviously to ultimately get through to that next round but Of course it's games where you got injured and how's that going are you? Yeah it's so all back is? running I believe it or not yeah. I was here an hour and a half before everyone else so I'm trying to get my own yeah. rehab in before managerial duty start <laughs> but yep yeah, like I say I'm probably a week ahead of schedule so it's um Probably wasn't expected to be kicking balls before Christmas time, so um, it's nice. It just shows like I'm, everything I'm doing off the pitch and looking after myself, it's working. Um, so you just got to trust the sort of trust the process. Um, so you'll probably see me doing a lot more running before games over the next few weeks. It probably doesn't look ideal as a manager, <laughs> but if it means getting back and obviously getting in and amongst it again with the lads, um, as and when that is, obviously it's something you can't rush, especially when obviously it's been so long so again it's just more focusing on what my responsibilities are at the moment for the club and the lads um, which at the moment obviously is being in charge and again like I say that rehab I can do that in the background as well and obviously it's, it's working really well at the moment so again tonight was a successful night for me and for the lads I reckon like I say back running and kicking balls and we put 10 in the back of the net